Caldwell, Idaho is a town 20 minutes outside of Boise, our state's capital. We have a population of 30,000 people. We have one high school, one alternative high school, two middle schools, and nine elementary schools. We are 80% free and reduced lunch. Our population is uh, a little bit over 60% Hispanic students, um, under 40% Caucasian. So there's adult relationships that some of these students don't get at home. And having that relationship with them, that camaraderie, that um, role model, with them is really important to our culture. Uh, our kids don't have all the opportunities and advantages that even neighboring districts offer. So for us, it became a, how do we keep students involved and engaged uh, during a time where everything is uncertain? With COVID, variables changed and we were no longer in the classroom. And in the classroom, it's fairly easy to make those relationships. We're eye to eye, we're face to face. What is the interview? Can we make this bias? No, it, there's nothing to be proud. Guys, I'm a winner. Everyone knows I'm a winner. Covering and with the pandemic, all the teachers are like, I miss engaging, and now they're like going in on it. Yeah, they're like, they're I don't want to. Like, I want to make sure I get this stuff done that they learn before we end up staying at home again. And everyone's like participating in the classrooms more. Because I remember when we were doing the like uh, ha some days in, some days out. When you the hybrid classes, schedule. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the hybrid schedule. If I want them engaged in my class. I have to look at them first as humans and not just as students in, in a room. So they're doing a gallery walk with primary source um, pictures from the colonial era, specifically 1765 to about 1776. Yes. So do you remember what we talked about yesterday with the Stamp Act? Yeah. And how they're going to be protesting and fighting against the Stamp Act uh, for the British. Yeah, yeah. These are like the other stamp. Ultimately, I am hoping to get them to question exactly what they're experiencing as they're going through these. And they're in groups, of course, so more brains, more voices, the better. Um, I feel that they learn through talking um, and collaboration. We're actually building toward a case study. So I work with Harvard Business School with the Case Method Project. And so um, as we're dealing with these sources later, as they're reading a case study, they're actually going to be looking at charts and primary source images. History is one of those subjects. It comes down to how it's taught. Mm -hmm. And so um, I've stayed away from textbooks and I've really enjoyed seeing my kids dive into the sources themselves. I came into teaching math knowing that engagement was going to be hard. They can't meet me where I'm at. I have to meet them where they are. I try to give them multiple opportunities to practice and show me their practice. I like to have them work in groups so that the other people are close and nobody's got to explain to anybody but the little group they're with. Or maybe they have, have to answer a question to me, but I'm going to get closer to that group and go, okay, so how'd you get this? They can answer me. They're not answering to everybody. And I get more, definitely get more engagement that way. They'll use their desk as a whiteboard lots of times when they're doing their quizzes warm up. I get more engagement if I say, here's a marker right on the desk, and then I can see it too, and I don't have to really look. It takes time. At the beginning of the year, it starts out a lot of Miss Miss. Am I doing this right? Will you help me, Miss Miss? It is a bonus that I've had a lot of these kids more than once, so they already know they're going to participate. Our profession right now is in a roller coaster. You're up, you're down, you get the joys, you get the hardships, but never do I ever regret becoming a teacher. When we start teaching, right, we have this idea that we're going to come in and we're going to change the world. And then three years in, we think, okay, the world is crazy, and I've got these 30 kids to worry about in this class period, so I'm going to change first period. For me personally, it was about keeping those relationships with kids. How can I stay engaged with them so that they know that right here, maybe for this one hour a day, they have somebody, whether it's online or an email away. The teachers are the backbone of every profession in this, in this country, in this world. They couldn't be where they are without a teacher.